I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, Matt Damon loves Emily Blunt, but that's not what the Adjustment Bureau has in mind for them. My review right now. Oh, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Here, I'll pay for the dry no, cleaning. No, it's really fine. Please don't. Wow. Seven bucks will probably cover it. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that. You might yeah. need it. You know what? Here, you write your number down, and then I can call you and come pick up your skirt. Matt Damon is perhaps the most likable leading man working in movies these days, and Emily Blunt is a cheeky beauty with more than a hint of mischief in her sparkling eyes. You see these two on screen and you want them to be together. This is one of the strengths of the Adjustment Bureau because we're rooting hard for them even as the ultimate system tries to keep them apart. <laughs> you challenge okay, me in those shoes? I'm, okay, fine. You know what? I can't. I can't. You're right. These are the wrong shoes. I'm going to twist an ankle. Well, you so, said no, no I rules. Dumb I, I dumb was a dumb idea. Oh! Yes! <laughs> you said uh, you had trouble feeling. <laughs> based on a short story by the legendary Philip K. Dick, the Adjustment Bureau raises many lofty and sometimes head-spinningly complex questions about fate versus free will. We are the people who make sure things happen according to plan. My name's Richardson. Oh. Damon is solid, funny, and heroic, playing David Norris. David's a working class guy with a tragic backstory who has weathered a few scandals and could become the next senator from New York and maybe even president someday. My name's David Norris, and I'd like to be the next senator from the great state of New York. Blunt plays Elise. She's beautiful and smart and funny and British, and she's a dancer who keeps bumping into David by chance. Are you a registered New York voter? Do I sound like I am? <laughs> Now, they seem to be a perfect match, but there's one major problem. They're not supposed to be together. There are mysterious men in hats who carry detailed notebooks with them, and they pull the strings on mankind, so we all follow the master plan of the big guy in the sky. Why won't they let me be with Elise? Because she's enough. If you have her, you won't need to fill that void inside of you with applause and votes. At times, the Adjustment Bureau gets bogged down in yet another explanation of the rules of life, and there are moments that should be menacing but really come across more as silly. The digital effects, though, are pretty impressive but a little bit repetitive, and you can feel the heavy lifting done by writer-director George Nolfi as he turns a short story into a feature-length film. What the hell is going on, David? Uh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How did we just do that? I'm so sorry. Okay. How did we just okay, do that? These doors belong to the people who are chasing us. Terrence Stamp, Mad Men's John Slattery, and Anthony Mackie lend some spark as various members of the Adjustment Bureau's hierarchy, and the score helps to give the movie a sweeping romantic vibe. With touches of vanilla sky and wings of desire, the Adjustment Bureau never quite soars to the level of a memorable sci-fi romance, but due mainly to the chemistry between those two terrific leads, I'm giving it a B. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and on Reels Channel TV about movies.